When we are designing an architecture, it is impossible to do not think about the structure of the design. So in the previous video, we talked about how we could draw columns in ARCHICAD. Today, we're going to talk about a special tool in ARCHICAD to make complex uh, columns and uh, different shapes of the column with the help of segmented column. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about the advanced setting for columns in ARCHICAD. But before, I'm going to have a quick review from the topics that I uh, spoke in the last video. I spoke about how to draw a simple column, an inclined column, a rotated column, and also um, column with two different uh, materials and a rectangular column and uh, how to draw the column based on the reference axis of core through the plan. Today we're going to take a look at the edits we could have by clicking on a column on the center of the column with this pop-up window that it came here and these settings which is different when we select the corner circles. But before that, I should mention that the same thing that I said about all these types of columns, we could have for the circle columns. By clicking on one of these columns and when we come to the structure, we could select just a, a circular column. So everything that I said about all of these could be as simple as just changing the structure from rectangular to circular. Okay, let's see what are these options that we have here in the pop-up window, which actually is just uh, some options to drag, rotate, elevate, and uh, multiply. And also here we would have uh, different options by clicking on the different circles here in the center or on the corners. I'm going to make a copy of these by Ctrl Shift D, which is copy and drag. I'm going to come here and then make another copy, Control Shift D, and here. This one I would like to set it as rectangular and this one as circular. And we wanted to compare the options that we have in these two types of columns. The first one is the rectangular one. When we click on the center, we just have uh, this option here that it modified the angle. By clicking on that, I could have an inclined column according to the angle that I choose here. As you see, this tracker that comes with the cursor of the mouse has three different values to be changed. First one is the angle. I could choose the angle of the inclination of this column. So for example, here, I want to have a column by inclination of uh, 80 uh, degrees, and I could do it just by putting the number on the keyboard. Then if I want to select the distance, I can do it with the tab button on the keyboard. Then for the inclination of the column, when it has 80 degrees, the distance will be 1 meter and 15 centimeter according to the height of the column. So it would be different. It depends on the height of the column and the angle that uh, you want to have it. So you can choose in which way uh, do you want to draw the column. I'm going to hit the enter and this will be our um, column with those numbers that uh, I put in. I'm going to turn it back to the normal column, to the generic one. Then if we click on these four corners, it doesn't uh, matter. Just one of them. We would have a different settings here. The first one is rotating on the axis. By clicking on this, I can rotate the column in any uh, degree that I want in any angle based on the core of the column and I cannot choose any other points as a center point of the rotation. But if I want to rotate this column based on this point, I should use the 
Control E on the keyboard, and then we would have this type of uh, cursor, and we could select, for example, I want to rotate this column based on this point, and from here to here, which in the tracker, we could uh, set the exact number and how much do we want it to be rotated. I'm going to select this circle again, and here we have four other options, which uh, they're almost the same. Uh, this one, you can uh, stretch the width of the column. So if I have uh, this column, like in a square, and I want it to be a rectangle, I can just select a different dimension for it. On the tracker here, uh, you can see it says the width, the total width, and the distance. So basically, the first two numbers are the same and uh, the third one is the distance uh, the distance is actually from the core of the column i can put uh, a different number like 60 centimeter and the column will be turned to a rectangular one i'm gonna undo and then i want to continue on this one is stretching based on one side of the column so here we can see all of these three numbers are the same so uh, now the width of the column is 30 centimeter and i want to stretch the column on this way for example 0 0.5 you can use these uh, options uh, on your plans based on the situation that you are in and you can change each column and as you wish i'm gonna undo these two are the same as uh, these two options here but it's just for the height of the column here we have the width and here we have the height i think it would be better to call it the length of the column so here we have the width here we have the length and the height is the vertical distance between the floors. So um, here it's going to be the same as uh, these two, just on the other direction. I'm going to uh, move on to the circular column. By selecting the circular column, I'm going to click on the core of the column. And then like this one, I just have uh, this option for columns angle. The situation and the numbers are uh, exactly the same with this type. And I'm gonna click on uh, one of these. And here we just have two options instead of five. And this one is the same rotate on the axis that I don't know uh, how it's gonna be useful for a circular column. Then this one, we can change the, the diameter of uh, this circle, this column. So we can change the radius. The radius is now 30 centimeter, and I can change it to, for example, 45 centimeter. That's it for these uh, two generic columns. And a subject that I wanted to talk in this video is um, what if we don't want the column have the same profile from bottom to the top? I mean, if we take a look at these columns, they all have the same dimension from the bottom to the top. But what if we want to have a, a kind of special column in our design that has a special shape? ARCHICAD gives us another option, which is the complex column. I'm gonna select the column tool, and here on the structure, uh, we have rectangular, circular, and complex profile. By selecting that, here on the custom, we can select a different profile for the column. For example, here I'm going to select universal column, which is the metal structure. I'm going to click right here, and this is the complex profile. Yes, that's right, it's the same from the bottom to the top, but we can modify it as the different shapes in the length. To understand this better, I'm going to select that so we can go to the, the setting dialog. And the first one is the normal settings that we have here, uh, the width and the length of the column, the height, which now is linked to the top. And here, if I say not linked, this value will be turned on and we can set a different value for the height. 
For this example, I'm going to turn it back to link to the next floor. And here we can set that we want the column to be vertical or slanted or, for example, inclined. And uh, by clicking on this, uh, we, could we could set a different value for the angle of the column. Also, we can have different type of the cuts for the bottom and top of the column. I'm going to put it back to straight column. And then on the segment, here we have rectangular, circular, and the complex profile that we just selected. Also here, we can say that uh, we want tapered uh, column. So we can have different uh, values for the bottom and top of the column. By clicking on this, as you can see, we can set different uh, value for width and length of top and the bottom. The things that I want to explain is multi-segmented. If I click on this, this uh, part will be shown to us and I can add different segment to the column. By selecting each part, you can see that uh, this will turn on and we can set different values for each one. Then, for example, I would like to set the bottom part of the column to something rectangular, the middle part, for example, this will be okay. And for the top part, I would like to say that circular. So we could have a column that made with different type of structure. Also, if I select the middle part, I can select different profiles for the middle part. Then, for example, I want to make more complex column. Here, I would like to uh, set a specific height for this part. Here we have uniform size, which the bottom and the top has the same dimensions. And here we have tapered size. Under this, we have fixed height. I'm going to click on this and set, for example, 0 0.8, which is 80 centimeter for the lower part. And for the top, I would like to set it as, for example, 50 centimeter. The middle part will be changed automatically because the amount is just a percent of the whole length of the column. So as you can see, the middle part is 2 meter and 20. Also, we can set a different amount for the height. So for example, here, if I say the middle part, I want it to be like 1 meter and 80. Back to uh, the columns, we see that the top of the column is not linked to the next floor anymore. And also we cannot set specific value for the height because um, to designing the segment, we said that this three part has these amounts. And uh, because of our design, this could not be changed. So the middle part, which is the longest, I'm going to put it back to the percent. And then on the column, we see that uh, we can set a different height, or if we set it to link to the next floor, the height will be calculated automatically. But don't forget, if you want the column to be connected to the next floor, you shouldn't have this distance. So I'm going to put it on zero. Now the column is linked to the next floor and connected to the current floor, the home story. I'm going to continue with the segment tab and I want to make more complex column with editing more of these segments. So also let's work with the tapered. I'm going to click on this and here we could set different dimensions for the top and the bottom of the of this segment. So for example here I'm going to set the upper part to be 30 by 30 and the lower part could be like 60 by 60. Also, I would like to set a tapered for the upper part. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to turn on taper and here and here I'm going to put in something like half meter and the lower part would be 30 centimeter. 
and the lower part uh, will be 30 centimeter. I'm going to click on OK. And immediately, this uh, column will be changed to what we designed. Now take a look at uh, the column that we designed in the 3D view. This is the shape of the column that we designed uh, according to the amounts that we put in in the setting dialog. I can uh, change more settings on this column. For example, I can set a different height, but remember that if I change something here, uh, it's not going to be linked to the next floor. And this one is modify the angle. We can also set an angle for complex uh, column that we design. Here I'm going to put 60 degree for this column. And as you can see, we could have a special shapes for the columns in our design with the help of ARCHICAD. Let's click on this uh, circle again. And here we have a rotate join angle. It means by selecting on the option, I can set a different uh, angle for, for cutting the column. So here the angle, if I set it to 90, 90 degrees, uh, the column will be end 90 degrees to the core of the column. I'm gonna undo. And then if we select this uh, middle point, I can set a different angle for how these two segments are going to be connected together. In this case, I would like to say 60 degrees. And also for this part, I'm going to set it to 60 degrees too. Now the column is designed like this. Also, we can put another segment here in the middle if I click on this uh, blue line here, we can see that uh, we could split the segment and make another segment with different shape. Let's go back to 3D view on the plan view. This is how you can see this column. I'm going to move it a little bit with Control D here, for example. If I don't select the column, we cannot see the upper part here. So I have to change the way that we want it to be shown on the plan. I'm going to select this. Here on the floor plan and section, we can change the floor plan display to outlines only. So this uh, column will not be cut on this part, and we can see the whole structure at the same time. The good point is that um, here we could continue to edit the column by clicking on this edit and selecting one segment. I can change the value of the column according to the design and the environment I'm putting this column in. Also, for example, here I'm not happy with uh, this circle that is connected to this metal part. I'm going to click on this uh, segment and with this option, I'm going to change the radius. So I think 0, 45 will be nice. And then I want to modify this element too. So 0, 57. And this will be the column. I'm going to exit the edit mode. And this is the column. Also, you are free to make so many different uh, type of columns with different shapes, different angles. And for example, if we take a look at this on the 3D view, as you can see, we could have a very different types of design for uh, the column. And uh, there will be no limitation uh, to work with column in ARCHICAD. These were everything that you should know about the columns in ARCHICAD, how to work with it, how to edit them, how to design a column with special shape. And if you have more questions, please write it down on the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for further videos. Also, that would be nice if you know something more that I didn't mention in this video. Please write it down on the comments and share it with everyone. Don't forget that uh, we are here to learn, practice, and share with everyone. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Bye-bye.